So many people don't do a business plan. I'm not here to tell people how to do it. I just think it's so important people recognise they must have one. And it isn't something you make for the bank. It isn't something you do just to get finance. It should be a thumbed through document that you refer to. And there are elements in it which I think are most important. And that is your customer. Knowing your customer. Knowing your industry. Knowing what's going on that's going to affect you. Don't just look at your particular section within your industry in isolation. Look at the whole, look at the entirety. We did shop all over the world because it was really important. If hard candy produced a new nail polish colour or a new package, style of packaging for lip gloss in LA, I had to have it. And that's the approach you should have, whether you're running a cosmetics business as I was or whether it's a coffee shop. If you are an individual standalone coffee shop, you have to know what Cafe Nero are doing or what Costa Coffee are doing. Just to be aware, even if it's not something you want to do, you have to know. So business planning, and I can go on a lot more than that. I think it, and it's also a review document. As a managing director, owner of any business, you don't have to report to anyone. You don't have to get out of bed in the morning if you don't want to. But at the end of the year, unless you review your business and have some sort of benchmark about what you wanted to achieve, how will you know if you've got there? You won't. And so that's why I think people should use a business plan. My third one is finance. You know, I think, again, my culture of detail, detail, detail. Get an expert on board to do your VAT, to do your PAYE, to do all of those types of things, your tax returns. But you, as an MDO of your football team, or slightly less, needs to know your cash flow. You need to know the impact of your sales line on your bottom line. And, you sh- and if you wait for a text to tell you you're overdrawn at the bank, you should be shot. It's you- up to you to know your monies. Marketing, crucial part of any business, but the point I make is you have to do it because without doing it, your customers won't know you exist. But you need to review it. So every, any piece of activity you do, whether you're networking and you're actually just using your time rather than any money, or whether you're spending a huge amount of money on an advertising campaign or an online activity, set your outcomes first. What's a good one? What's an outstanding one? And then you'll know when you review it if you've achieved what you wanted to achieve. And then don't, if you always do the same thing, you get the same result. So then you might tweak it slightly or you might change it or you might come from a different angle. So those are the four hard ones, I think, are business skills. The the last three are to do with the soft skills of the business, which are basically your customers, knowing how important they are, understanding. If you're running a business that's solely dependent on customer facing and it's not you and you have staff in charge, then make sure they understand your expectations. If you want everybody to say good morning whenever somebody walks through the door, make sure you've told them, have a customer care strategy in place. Um, Personnel as well. You know, it's getting the right staff. Do, are you creating, are you employing the right people for the gaps in your, in your enterprise? Are you actually truly deciding what you want to do and the sort of person you want to do it? And I think there's a lot of work that, that I do in my mentoring role where people say pe- staff are always leaving. You know, and the question is, if staff are always leaving, you have to look inward sometimes. Why? Are you promising something that you don't deliver? Is the job not quite as you're suggesting in your job ad? There is lots of ways. Again, get an HR firm to do your employment contracts. Do have those in place, but that's not where I come from. They're practical, honest um, disciplines that will work in any business. And the final one is all about you. It's you as the manager and director, you as the owner of this business. It's hard work, but you shouldn't neglect yourself. You shouldn't be not putting yourself through training or taking time out. And that's where I believe mentoring does come in. I would have loved to have had somebody just to go bleh with every so often to say, this is where I am, where shall I go? Usually just by talking out loud, you get the answers yourself. But to have somebody there to bounce ideas off is crucial. So those are my seven disciplines, strategic planning, business planning, finance, marketing, personnel, customer service, and you. And it's those disciplines that I now use when I'm mentoring and when I do public speaking at various shows or for women in business or for men in business that I actually talk about and hopefully enable others to take something that I've learned and apply to their own business.